This is Cybert signing into Red Alert 3 on the map, Cabana Republic. And this is something that I have never seen. Kicking it off on the left side, playing the purple Soviets. This is Harlan. And for the first time ever in my memory on this channel, we have playing allies. The yellow, this is Jimon. I cannot believe it. This is Jimon playing allies. Of course, if you're new to competitive World War 3, if you don't, if you're or if you're new to my channel, uh, this may not seem significant to you, but Dimon is a player that I have never seen play anything other than Soviets or Empire, and now we finally are rounding him out with a bit of a fast airfield. It is airfield after barracks, after refinery, but I don't think by any stretch this is going to be some kind of cryo rush or any other kind of cheese. It's just a fast airfield. And Harlan, this is a player that some of you are going to be familiar with. He is a Chinese player. He is very good, and he is a Soviet main as well. Now, famously, Demon does not like Soviet mirrors. So even though Demon is a Soviet main as well, he almost always plays Empire versus Soviets. And the way he described it in an interview was, if you want to know the kind of stuff... Oh, he is actually cryo-rushing. I mean, this is not an all-in cryo-rush, but he is cryo-rushing... Uh, regardless, is a very fast tier 2, and this is right out of the gate. He's almost spending himself into the poorhouse to make this happen and to get this out. He is going to have a cool $1,000 in the bank left over, and uh, he did not do the wall-in, the super hardcore version of this build, and it looks like he is going for the high ground expansion. Uh, getting back to Demon's quote, it was basically, if you want to know what I hate playing against as Soviets, watch me play Empire versus Soviets. He just does all of the stuff that he hates playing against as a Soviet player, but I have never seen him go up against a Soviet player and choose allies. Cabana Republic is the map, and this one can get weird, but this is looking to be macro-oriented. We got both players going for fast three bases, and yes, it was a fast tier two, but with the MCV move to the high ground, this airfield is back down to tier one. It's only a single cryocopter, and let's not undersell what, how much damage a single cryocopter can do, but it's got, but Harlan has bullfrogs. This is against a Soviet player who has flak troopers, bullfrogs, who will eventually have MiGs to deal with this. In this case, is he about to... Oh. Oh, that was getting dangerous. He cuts the corner. The bullfrogs aren't close enough, though. And all right, the terrain will save this cryocopter. If Man, oh, man. If Demon lost that first cryocopter out of the gate without hardly doing anything with it, that would have been, I mean, amazing for Harlan. But that would have been such a funny misstep from Demon, who has not become an expert at beating cryocopter rushes but when someone goes hard with a really aggressive cryo rush against demon it it almost doesn't seem like it's that powerful against every other player cryo rushes are extremely potent but demon has gotten so good at beating them that he makes it look like a fair fight but in this case, the MCV is now packing up, so we have even longer of a delay until our next cryocopter will be coming out. This is a cryo rush, but not a cryo rush in what we normally... Oh, see, maybe a little bit of lag there. I'm not sure what exactly happened. He did give the order to attack moments before the freeze actually happened, so that oil derrick will survive for the current moment, and that is a conscript on the way, a terror drone as well from Harlan, and Harlan is heading up to the north. Dimon, on the other hand, has dropped a naval yard off to the east, there and is going to be heading down to the south to go to take his fourth expansion and he, this is one of those things about cabana republic once you get past three bases things get a little bit weird as far as how the expansions lay out and we have migs but we also have harlan grabbing that oil derrick and there haven't been many fights but for the first five minutes of this game a lot has been happening Everything that these players have been doing has uh, almost resulted in some significant action. But at the end of it all, it's sort of like, well, I guess nothing really happened. We almost had a whole bunch of stuff happen. We had a little bit of cryocopter harassing a harvester. We had a cryo rush from Demon, And we had this fast three bases from both players. But ultimately, 
We're just kind of at like a normal spot now at the five minute mark. The game almost feels more aggressive than it actually is on paper. Harlan is in a great spot now. Now that he's on three refineries, he'll soon be on four refineries, but critically, he got that airfield up already. His super reactor, his war factory, all of his key pieces of tech for the mid game, and especially once he gets that fourth refinery online, he is going to be feeling very comfortable. Now, Dimon is, of course, no slouch. He's got that fourth refinery as well, but he's just lost his oil derrick, so the slight edge will go to Harlan over time. But, you know, we'll see how much Dimon actually lets those four ore refineries stay active. Three bullfrogs, two hammer tanks, a terror drone, and a twin blade. They're going to find the airfield. This is going to be repositioned anyways. I mean, there's no way that Dimon doesn't reposition this airfield just to take advantage of the tier two. Bullfrog's going to get caught. Harlan not paying attention. One bullfrog gets caught, but that is a... That's not a bad price at all to pay for a cryo shot like that. Cryocopter comes in. Bullfrog will go down. I think Peacekeeper got the cleanup on that one. And the Hammer Tanks are going to have to dodge away from all of this infantry from the Allies. At the current moment, there is a bit of a trap being set here by Demon, And those jabs are going to be able to clean up the Terror Drone, clean up the Hammer Tanks. And only one Hammer Tank remains. This Twin Blade in the sky is about to get blasted down by that Hydrofoil as the Bullfrogs get chased down by these Dolphins. And this attack from... Harlan, it accomplished one thing, and that was killing a power plant. That almost did some serious damage. If he would have been able to actually get the confirmed kill on the airfield and the refinery, that would have been some serious damage to trade out for that entire ground army that just went down. But instead, Harlan has taken a fifth refinery in the north, and he is going to be looking to pump out some Akula subs, which he is desperately going to need. He'll probably also need something else to support them, whether that's Stingrays or even Twin Blades. Twin Blades will, of course, be difficult with the Apollos and with the Hydrofoils around, but he's going to have to do something because one single Akula isn't going to be enough against everything that Demon has. Although the Ultra Torpedoes could land a pretty critical shot here. We'll see. Tesla Coil does actually land a shot. I didn't realize there was a Tesla Coil there and a Flak Cannon as well. So the Hydrofoil is protecting this Cryocopter. And the Cryocopter gets the freeze. The Dolphins get the kill. And Demon putting a little bit of pressure on in the north. Like I said, five refineries, but only four of them are working. When you're up against Demon, you got to have something going on to deal with the harassment. He's inevitably going to be throwing in your direction. Guardian Tank's getting targeted down, but it's just enough repairs to keep him alive until those IFBs pop out. And now suddenly the multi-gunner turret as well, getting a couple of shots off. And the air forces of Harlan are being torn apart. Meanwhile, Demon is going to be getting pushed away in the north, it seems. The Akula sub comes back to full size as a flak cannon gets deployed there at the fourth refinery location. The second Akula sub is here, but the ultra torpedoes miss. A bit of a mistake there from Harlan. And now that Akula sub is going to be taking bonus damage from that multi-gunner turret. And he won't even get the kill on the multi-gunner turret. He goes down as that cryocopter ensures the death. And I think we just saw a, an Athena cannon popping out as well from Demon. So he has completed the Allies trifecta. You've got those cryocopters. You've got the Athena cannons. And you've got something out on the water. In this case, it's dolphins. He's got his bases covered all three sections of the battlefield have some kind of representation there from Demon. Finally, that fourth refinery is back online. It's completing the five refinery income, or the four refinery income. He hasn't actually taken the fifth refinery yet for Harlan. Demon, he's sitting on those four refineries as well. And actually, somewhat surprisingly, Harlan has been able to maintain this oil derrick. So it took a little bit of damage earlier on in the game. But Demon lost his own oil derrick. So it's four refineries versus four refineries and an oil derrick. Four cryocopters now out on the field. Demon is so good with engagements. He is so good at managing his army. And I am a little bit worried to see what he does with cryocopters but Harlan is no joke he's only got three bullfrogs the MiGs hopefully have been rebuilt as well so that he'll have them ready to go four Apollos are here a couple of IFBs also one hammer tank gets 
frozen, but not actually killed. Okay, there's the kill. Comes in. Second hammer tank does go down. That I'd be a little bit unsure of itself, and it looks like the hammer tank will survive for the current moment. Akula Sub going to be getting one of the dolphins. I think the ultra torpedoes actually got absorbed by the dolphin as it fell to Davy Jones' locker. And fortunately for Harlan, he's been able to put a little bit of pressure on in the south here at the beachhead on the south side of the island. And as a result, he's actually had free and clear sailing up here in the north. These two refineries remain unharassed since that pressure that they took earlier. And that is great for Harlan. The longer he can stick on this four refinery economy and slowly build up that army, the better he is going to be. And I guess we never actually did see an Athena can, and I misspoke earlier. I thought I spotted one out of the corner of the screen, and I was wrong. But an Athena cannon would be the completion of the trifecta there for Demon. This is so many cryocopters. The ground army is a little bit far away, so this does present a bit of an opportunity. One, two cryocopters go down. If a third and a fourth went down, that would become monstrous there for Harlan. That would, end, that would represent a huge amount of cash invested by Demon that he would have gotten very little for. At the current moment, Harlan up by about nine grand in credits, total resources gathered, but that's about to change if Dimon gets his way in the north, if he's able to put a little bit of pressure on with these riptides. Cryocopters coming up as well. Ultra torpedoes. Uh, I'm not actually sure if anything happened there, but the ultra torpedoes from these three Akulas may have fired off. Harassment in the north is incoming. It's going to be uh, forewarned here by the cryo shot. The warning shot coming in, gets the Harvester, but does not, and that is a blind Ultra Torpedo. He knows that the forces are coming, but he doesn't know exactly when or where, and that was a good shot, but unfortunately, it didn't actually do anything. And when you have this many Cryocopters, they just about instantly freeze targets. At the same time, Harlan is going to be able to put on a little bit of pressure here in the south. Oh, good Badger Bomber drop there as the Toxins waste those infantry. And the refinery does eventually go down. It was a bit of a delay there from Demon. And uh, we see him actually giving away an, an Apollo as well. Harlan doing an amazing job of trying to cross map and do some kind of damage. Unfortunately, not, it's not working out as well as he would like. But he is trying to cross map and do as much as he can to disrupt Demon. It's not working to very good effect just yet. Oh, Apollos and Twin Blades getting torn apart. Demon finds the angle. The, the MiGs falling to pieces there as the Apollos and the Hydrofoils shred those Soviet air forces. Cryocopters get the lock on that flak cannon Hydrofoil here just to make sure, and Demon can blast through anything that the Soviet player has here in the north. This is the end of the Soviet expansion the way that we have known it. Ultra Torpedo catches the Riptide, finally knocking down those Riptides so that they cannot eliminate the targets for those Cryocopters, but at the same time, Harlan's ground army there at the southern beachhead has been chipped away at and has been reduced. He's got a couple of conscripts, but only one or two flak troopers, and that is just not the late game army that you would hope for. Double super reactor here for Harlan, but as well as that battle lab. So he has gone up to tier three. Hydrofoil does catch the shot there. Nicely done by Harlan. He is, I mean, he's doing pretty good as far as blind firing these Akula subs at moving targets. This Hydrofoil, or this Riptide, going golden a minute or two ago, and uh, he will find another kill there. Akula Sub does escape the Cryocopters for now. Refineries being rebuilt. Only one of them has... Oh, cancel it, cancel it. Oh, just in time. Nicely done there by Harlan. Cancels it just fast enough. But again, now his income is hurting. He was 10, 11,000 credits ahead, and he remains that way. But I have to imagine over the next couple of minutes that is going to be shrinking. I'm surprised. Over all of the action, all of the harassment, Demon has not cleaned up that oil, Derek. It's not the biggest difference, but as we stretch past the 15-minute mark in this game, that couple of credits every, the 15 credits every couple of seconds adds up and does begin to become significant. Cryoshot going to be firing off once again. It's going to be tagging both buildings. It won't get the refiner, but that's what all of these cryocopters are here to finish freezing off. There we go. Cryocopters do force the sell off, and the flak cannon does survive, but it has yet to do anything. Dolphin might. Oh no, it's a riptide. Gonna dodge in, get the kill, and then escape. 
And that's the uh, heroic Riptide as well. Just firing a couple of shots, doing almost no damage. Akula Subs going to be making their way to the south. Harlan, he's taken a lot of damage. He has not been able to crack Demon. He has not been able to do significant damage, but Demon might be about to lose this. Hydrofoil. Oh, the Terror Drone will get the lockdown, and that's a kill as the Akula finally deals the death blow to that Riptide. Tier 3 is now upon us. There is an aircraft carrier, so it's not the trifecta that I was talking about, but it is because now we have Athena Cannons here as well. Cryocopters, Athena Cannons, and aircraft carriers. They're going to be a powerful force to try and stop. Iron Curtain is definitely one way you could do that, and their timer is on Harlan as much as he has a timer on Demon with this three minutes counting down for that Iron Curtain. All right, Satellite Drop going to get called in on that refinery. It's nice for Harlan to be able to knock down one of those refineries, but Hydrofoil, Hydrofoil gets infected. We'll be using the Dolphins to splash damage those Terror Drones out of there, but the Terror Drone does get the kill on that Dolphin. Nicely done to absorb those Ultra Torpedoes as the Black Hole Armor fires off and the Cryocopter gets the freeze on that Terror Drone just in time. Dolphin shuts down the Terror Drone, and Demon will win the fight. Uh, will win the fight on C. What is getting called in here? It might just be Toxins. Yeah, I think that's a, da that's a Badger Bomber bringing in the Toxins. And, well, Black Hole Armor can't protect you from that. Unfortunately for that Dolphin, it does go down. Harlan is looking to cross map as he's got some tanks heading to the top right side of the map as that refinery goes down. It's actually going to be a twin frog combo. He's finally putting a bit of pressure on Demon, and he's finding an opening that he has not been able to exploit up to this point. He may pay quite a price for it as cryocopters look to pursue and look to lock down this army. Hydrofoils, no Apollos are going to be catching the twin blades on retreat. Demon shutting down every opportunity for damage. Two bullfrogs are here, one of them shrunken down, but is still doing damage. Two Apollos go down as the MiGs roll up a bit late to this fight, but they'll be here if the Apollos try to re-engage. Meanwhile, in the south, Demon has been broken up. It looks like Harlan found the aircraft carrier and the other support units as well. An assault destroyer may escape for the moment, but a war in the skies rages in the middle of the map. Eight cryocopters out on the field. A couple of IFVs are here as well. And if the Apollos could, if the MiGs could find the right angle, they could do some serious damage to these cryocopters, but they just won't find it cleanly. Three Apollos versus one MiG. Never mind, it's going to be four MiGs and a couple of bullfrogs on the ground. They're looking to finally catch it, but the tier three goes down, and Harlan is going to have to rebuild his tech. He's going to have to figure something else out. More and more MiGs going down. The cryocopters just looking to escape. The Apollos guarding them as the cryocopters will make it to safely, unless there's bull safety, unless there's bullfrogs here in the south. Ultra Torpedoes fire for effect. Most of them land their shots. Black Hole Armor now being activated moments too late, but there's a fresh uh, aircraft carrier out on the map. Double Refinery in the north has been rebuilt. I cannot believe that A, Harlan still has that oil derrick, and B, he was able to get both of the refineries in the north back up and running. He's still 20,000 credits ahead in total resources gathered, which is a good place to be as a Soviet player. There's going to be the Iron Curtain. Who cares if you've got cryocopters? Who cares if you've got defenses? I have Iron Curtains, and I am ready to go to Three multi-gunner turrets here on the front line, but they're going to get blasted down quickly, and the satellites are going to try and finish off these cryocopters. Some of the satellites falling through the cryocopters and taking a couple of them out, but it will be the naval yard that goes down, and only the multi-gunner turret survives that engagement, and that was not a massive amount of damage, but that was a perfect attack executed there by Harlan. He has been playing the long game, and he is finally going to miss with his Ultra Torpedoes. And oh boy, those Akula subs, they sink fast. When you got Athena Cannons ready and waiting to blast them, but a refinery is already back up and running. Four refineries for Demon. Back up and operational. 2,500, 1,750. We are running out of money on the map, and that means this game 
is about to slow down as we head into a bit of an economic stalemate as the players go from having four refineries worth of income to essentially two refineries of income and uh, they will be a bit problematic here. Back down to those four refineries goes Harlan. I've been saying the wrong number of refineries for Harlan for most of this game, but uh, we'll get it right eventually. Mig's getting targeted down. Fifth refinery gets started back up for Harlan. But he also is uh, just about depleted back at home, so he's not really going to have five refineries worth of income. Cryocopter's moving out through the middle. Demon once again looking to try and poke and prod Harlan. Another twin frog combo, but IFBs are going to be catching a couple of these twin blades. This is more than enough IFBs to cut down these twin blades. I mean, the twin blades might, if all of the twin blades had been together, they might have won that fight, but it uh, would have taken a good long time. Flak Cannon doing what it can, but this is just too many cryocopters if the cryocopters choose to commit. And there goes the super reactor, and that is also going to be not putting a pause on that Iron Curtain. It actually will keep counting down. Minute by minute, it'll get lower and lower. Twin Blades will finally overwhelm the multi-gunner IFVs, it seems, but it will be at a cost, and the last couple of Twin Blades will go down as the uh, last couple of IFVs will go down as the Twin Blades will head to the north. And the fact that Harlan survived that fight means that he can keep the hope alive, but it is going to be once again a cross-map scenario. These guys cannot stop themselves from finding the weak points and exploiting them as much as possible. Hopefully Harlan gets the kill on this refinery. He's gonna knock down that power plant and he doesn't stick around to get the next refinery, the next harvester, excuse me, that pops on out just almost immediately after those twin blades leave the area. IFV's getting infected by terror drones and you better use that iron curtain fast. These hammerheads, the hammer tanks don't shoot up, but that twin, that bullfrog can. Unfortunately, it's not and the iron curtain goes down. No real hope there. He could have iron curtained that bullfrog. Just planted it underneath. Oh well, too late now. Twin blades looking to poke and prod in the main, well, in the expansion of Demon, this game turning wacky, turning crazy, as uh, neither player really engages with a big army. They don't engage their opponents directly. Oh, the MiGs looking for the angle on the cryocopters, but Demon defends that attempt nicely. Twin Blades will be able to escape. Harlan has been putting on an amazing performance here as the Soviet player on Cabana Republic. Unfortunately, he will lose a couple more of these bullfrogs. IFB is going to be able to clean them up. Nice body blocking there with the IFBs to delay those bullfrogs, but Harlan will get a little bit of cash back. And these refineries in the north, those two expansions, are going to be so much more important over the course of the next couple of minutes. We now have four depleted refineries at least out on the map. Four grand in that one. This one has to be close. Oh, yeah, three. We have, what is that? Okay, we got five total depleted refineries on the map. Ultra Torpedoes impact, but the sale had already happened. Satellites are going to be impacting on this ore refinery. They might even touch that aircraft carrier off to the left. Nope, no splash damage there. Torpedoes will find the aircraft carrier. No black hole armor, although no, the Athena cannons are here to defend, and one of those Athena cannons is heroic as well. Or refinery survives, naval yard survives as well. These refineries in the north are so incredibly important. That's 21,000 credits still remaining, and this oil derrick still remains. That oil derrick is just becoming more and more valuable every minute that goes on. Demon says, all right, all right, you've had control of this area of the map long enough. It's time for me to take it over. MiGs, we have never seen the explosion in MiGs up to six or even eight. Instead, Harlan has decided to keep with just those four. And in this case, it is actually working out. He's been able to hold his own enough. Twin Blades diving in, they will get tagged. IFB's impact, take down two of the Twin Blades, but the heroic Twin Blade survives, and it will be just enough fire fire firepower to take down that Command Hub. Bye-bye, Command Hub. Akula Subs looking to take another swing at this expansion in the south. They back off just in time. 
You might need to set up a rotation with these uh, Ultra Torpedoes just so you can fire off the Ultra Torpedoes and then uh, get out of there and then send in like two more Akula subs, fire off the Ultra Torpedoes and get out of there. But instead, he's going to turn around and actually these Akulas are going a long, long ways away. They are heading for the hills. Ore refinery on the high ground, already depleted. Fortunately for Demon, he now has the free trade upgrade, so he gets a little bit more cash for each of those refinery trips. One more twin blade goes down. Heroic twin blade does manage to escape. One bullfrog will actually turn around and will kind of delay those uh, dolphins so that the other bullfrogs can escape. This game, it's, it's in some ways a stalemate. It's been a stalemate for probably 20 minutes. But at the same time, it's been so active everywhere on the map except for the land between the two bases. That's the only area that hasn't had significant battles is the land between the two bases, which is normally the most contested. Badger Bomber drops off the Toxin. It's going to be a cryo getting on top of this MCV. This might be it for Harlan's expansion in the north here. Four cryocopters, but he's going to force the sale. And fortunately for Harlan, he gets a little bit of cash back there. And he, of course, does have a crane in the south. He also does have that war factory. And actually, he is going to be getting a bunch of cash back. He crushes a couple of hammer tanks there. He may actually have the mass production upgrade. And uh, if that is the case, then we could see some shenanigans around this crusher crane. Because if you have mass production and you have Terra Drone Surprise, you can actually turn a profit with uh, war factories and crusher cranes. Hydrofoils explode here, but the cryocopters haven't been touched. This dolphin is heroic as well. We'll take a couple of shots from those twin blades, but not enough to knock it down. Meanwhile, Flat Cannon gets a couple of shots off. Bullfrog also looking for a bit of damage. Hydro Hydrofoils can't shut down all of the Bullfrogs, but the Bullfrogs will go on to land as the Cryocopters once again escape. Dimon once with eight Cryocopters now only has three. Okay, four as a fourth one spawns in right there. It's going to be another battle lab. Harlan is looking to go back up to Tier 3. He has tried a couple of different times. What is he getting out of this? Uh, okay, it's going to be a Sputnik. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, go for the Sputnik. I do think XYHC will be very proud of Harlan for going for this Sputnik. It will be, he'll be glad to see the Sputnik. And, uh, well, the Sputnik will expand, and the crane can get that refinery back online. 11 grand still in that ore node. And other than that, this is the only untouched ore mine on the map. Everything else is basically depleted at this point. So there is not a lot of cash left on the map. War Factory remains inactive here. And yeah, we have never seen a big explosion of air units from Harlan. He got those five refineries, but he never got that second airfield. Once again, I cannot believe that that oil derrick is still alive. Flat Cannon gets shut down. MiGs are here. Four MiGs, couple of Twin Blades, Stingray on the ground, and he's going to have to cancel that refinery. I assume he canceled it. If he lost that refinery, then that's a bit of a blunder for Harlan. Demon looking for the angle. Demon looking for the opportunity. Harlan getting pushed around here in the water. But Demon might actually just kind of move on by. Fresh Tesla coil. No, it's a flak cannon going down on the front line. And uh, at the same time, Harlan finds a couple of shots. I think just some ultra torpedoes there in the south. He turns back. He's looking for the angle. And the stalemate continues here. But it's going to be a cryo getting on top of this refinery. Hydrofoils are going to try and shut down that flak cannon. And the refinery will need to be sold off. No, nope, it doesn't get sold off in time, but the hydrofoils are going to make sure that that flak doesn't get any shot on these cryocopters. Stingrays coming in. They're going to go for the overcharge, clean up a couple of the hydrofoils, and the twin blades largely survive the fight. Always keeping a couple of those twin blades around is nice. Dolphin's going to go in. They're going to be able to blast down these stingrays, and the stingrays getting cut down. That was like two or three stingrays for free there. 
Black Cannon hasn't actually been dealt with, so it gets a couple of shots against those Cryocopters, but not enough to matter. Migs will be sacrificing themselves. The Hydrofoils are on the ground, and the Hydrofoil will rank up. One Cryocopter goes down, and the count is now back to four for Demon. Four refineries, four Harlan. But I think at this point, all of them are depleted. That oil, Derek, so, so good. Engineer? That's pretty funny. Oh, and the, okay, no, he turns around. He's going to get the engineer. There we go. Engineer goes down. I was like, oh, man, if he misclicked and doesn't turn around that ore collector. Man, these ultra torpedoes tearing apart this base, but barely not enough. The harvester, the refinery, and both of the multi-gunner turrets are so close to death, but yet they all survive. And the repairs are coming in, so they will be ready to survive the next wave of Ultra Torpedoes. Two Dolphins and a Hydrofoil. Demon's Navy in the north has been quite diminished over time. He hasn't been doing very much naval production, but he also hasn't had a lot of cash to play with. Harlan up 40 grand overall. But as we go later and later into the match, that total resources difference will matter less and less. Riptide coming in. Oil Derek, we salute you. If this Oil Derek survives, i got to bring the mini-map back. If this Oil Derek survives, I will be so, so happy. Also, that'll be the second time Demon has frozen that Oil Derek and not actually killed it. Oil Derek, we salute you. That boy was an absolute hero, and the Terra Drones show up moments too late. If those Terra Drones had been able to show up a couple of moments earlier, and that is what the Tier 3 is for. It is for the Dreadnought. Unfortunately, no Iron Curtain for that Dreadnought, and the aircraft carrier is going to try and trade against the Dreadnought and knock it down, and the aircraft carrier looks like it's going to get it. That EMP keeps the Dreadnought in place. Barely the Dreadnought will escape. Fires off one shot. But that is it. Demon needs a little bit more. Uh, he needs one more shot on that aircraft carrier. But Harlan needs a little bit more defense. Oh, that aircraft carrier surviving once again. But Demon fires off the cryo getting in the north. Once again, Harlan loses this refinery. And it looks like he may actually be kicked out this time. He has only flak cannons, five of them here but only three refineries. And honestly, this could be a benefit for Harlan if he actually takes that expansion in the south. If he takes the one unclaimed ore node, uh, then he could actually have, you know, income to replace the depleted ore nodes. Although I think technically there's still a little bit of cash left in this one. Yeah, still 11 grand. So that's actually pretty good. Dreadnought finds a couple of shots. Aircraft carrier doesn't need to hit it because it looks like the precision bomber took out that dreadnought. Twin blades? I'm not actually sure what just happened there. Twin blades, all right, retreated from the IFBs. They're back out over the water. Harlan and DDF looking for the critical angles, looking for the final survival shots, but not quite finding it. That Assault Destroyer's Black Hole Armor does make it a good defensive unit for this base. He's still, he's still airlifting that bullfrog. Lands it on the island. That's a cute move. I'm not sure uh, what the goal there is with that island, but he lands it on the island regardless. And that is two heroic dolphins. Six minutes or a little bit less on the clock for the vacuum imploder. Uh, assault Destroyer going to be pushing away these Akulas. And uh, I'm guessing a Bullfrog just tried to get targeted down by that aircraft carrier. I'm not sure they were actually able to have any effect. How do you break an Allied player? Well, with a Vacuum Imploder, says Harlan. But as we climb past the 34-minute mark, I'm not sure if this game will end after the 40-minute mark. This is going to be quite a long one regardless. Still two flak, still three flak cannons here in the north for Harlan. Demon has been so low on cash for so long. He's been on depleted refineries for more than a couple of minutes now. And there might be an opportunity for Harlan to try and dodge in and out and snipe uh, power plants. If he could clean up this cluster of four power plants, it does mean that Demon's production 
would slow down, and then he could also have the fun of spending his few remaining dollars. Oh, this terror drone finds the perfect opening. Oh no, Devon spots it. Harlan had the perfect moment, and yet Demon did have the antidote. Uh, what is that? Oh my gosh, that one aircraft carrier drone flew so incredibly far. That terror drone must have been in range when the attack order was given. And then it uh, flew just an incredible distance. Cryogenon going to be firing off, catches the harvester. There's going to be the spy drone reveal as well, and the precision bomber should come in. There we go. Cash back for Harlan, though, so he gets a little bit back on that refinery, and he can actually crush the harvester, and basically that refinery will be paid for. The harvester gets, uh, like, ten fifty, and you got $500 cash back on the refinery, so that's almost the price of the refinery right there. And that's, uh, that's not a bad deal for Harlan, knowing that the Cryogeddon is off the map for the next couple of minutes. Apollo getting tagged. Man, if Harlan could take that expansion in the north even, the one that is full, it would be nice. I'm, I guess just no one will ever be able to take this southern expansion. As soon as Demon sees Harlan try to take that, he's going to make it a bloody fight. MCV on the move? Where did the MCV actually go? Oh, no, it's still, it's still in the same spot. It didn't move at all. I just missed it. Well, we have a little over three minutes on the clock until that vacuum imploder is ready to go. Demon has a clock in this game that he must respond to. We'll see what he chooses to do. He hasn't gone the Tanya route, and he also hasn't opted for a Chronosphere at any point in this game. He could go for a Chronosphere, but right now he doesn't have enough power to support one, so he would need the power plant as well. Another Harvester sniped for Harlan. He gets the kill there in the north. Demon is going to be forced to sell off the refinery. That's a great win for Harlan. Demon now down to three refineries. And, I mean, once again, Harlan can get the cash back. Magnetic Singularity fires off, pulls in that air aircraft carrier. But every, every refinery that goes down, as long as Harlan sends that harvester into the crusher crane, he gets a significant amount of cash back on that refinery kill. A couple of IFBs going to be going down. Dimon making mistakes, and Harlan may be able to capitalize here. He hasn't quite found the massive damage, the big win that he wants. Oh, this, this harvester just sitting around doing nothing. There's a second crusher crane here in the south, actually. And, okay, yeah, that uh, that harvester is going to make its way over there. Six twin blades on the right side of the map. Only one of them is heroic. Demon continuing to pound away at this main base, and Demon has to use his precision bomber to clean up that terror drone. Natasha should be able to get at least one snipe, even if she gets taken out right after. Oh, she barely misses it. Natasha almost gets an aircraft carrier, though. No, she does! She gets an aircraft carrier. Harlan is finding the hope, finding the dream in the last couple of minutes of this game as the vacuum imploder gets closer and closer to counting down. It gets closer and closer to firing off. Where are you going? I don't know where that harvester is going. He's tried desperately to do his job, and it looks like the last of the Twin Blades will go down. Demon is not going to be beaten without a fight. He is not going to go down easy. Ultra torpedoes fire off. They will be absorbed by the black hole armor. Assault destroyers getting a couple of shots off here, and they are going to chase away those Akulas. Meanwhile, Twin Blades not going to be present, but instead the Riptide is going to be chasing down those bullfrogs. Oh, things were almost turning around for Harlan, but he really needs this vacuum imploder to have a big, big impact in this game. And I guess where do you choose to send it? Where did the MCV go, actually? MCV is on its way back up to the north. Oh, okay. Akula subs are going to try and take down the refinery, but of course with that, Athena Cannon here. Athena Cannon is going to be able to blast through those Akulas, and barely they don't get the kill. They're going to try and submerge, and he does dodge the damage. So nicely done there by Harlan. That was perfectly executed to dodge the Athena Cannon shot when it mattered most, and then get that last shot on that refinery. 
All right, a cooler sub. Vacuum imploder is ready. We have to assume it's going to land on the Navy, but that is partially why Damon is spre spreading out his Navy. Oh, it could go for the cryocopters as well. This is the money shot, I think. Right on top of that assault destroyer, and that's going to be the choice. It's going to be an attempt at a dodge. There's the run, and he dodges it. The GG comes out, and that was Harlan's last hope, and he just doesn't land the shot. After all of that, it comes down to one missed nuke. What a game from these two on Cabana Republic, firing on all cylinders in a very unusual Allies versus Soviets match. That is not at all how I expected an AVS on Cabana Republic to go, but that will do it for this game. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and this is Cyber signing out.